Welcome to another edition of Swoop Stroke Prime Time Thursday afternoon. How's it going, Peter? It's going okay. Man, oh man, oh man. I'm surprised we both made it because last night was a crazy night. I was. It was, <laughs> well, f yeah, for me, the whole day was crazy, you know, just leading up to it. I had so many different things I was having to do for the family, my own personal business type stuff, and then... And that show was off the hook. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys were cool. The, the Haster band, band Haster, man. Yeah. Haster was, was awesome. You know what I found awesome. like, kind of refreshing about them? Um, is that, and I think we said this once before about someone else, too. Is like, they're, they're totally musicians. They're totally artists. They're totally into their, their craft, their thing. But they understand the business side of it. And it's yeah. nice when you see someone that's that talented understand that, yes, there's a business side. And, and they can separate the two. They had no problem talking about the business and then it, without feeling like, and that's what you got to do. You got to be willing to promote yourself. And they did a hell of a job doing that last they night. A, I thought they did a great job of doing that last night. And uh, you know, when we talked to Jarrett, the lead singer, mm -hmm. and he was just talking about when he when he hooked up with them, it was like these guys. You know, he said I'd been through all the bullshit where people, you know, kind of basically ripped you off and all this yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. And he said, you know, I sat and I talked with these guys, and I boom, 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 boom. I mean, he knew what he was after. He yeah. knew what he wanted, and he knew what direction he wanted to go. And he found like-minded individuals, and, and I, I, I give them nothing but props. I mean, yeah, I think they rank up there. What, what's the other guys that we that went? Uh, they did the, the crazy tour. Acidic. No, not a, was it? Yeah, was it acidic? They were in here. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so you know, mean the names. <laughs> um, these guys were even more organized. Than those guys, yeah, and those and guys are well. Uh, those, those guys are well organized. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, of the of the people we've had in the last, you know, I don't know, a couple months, I'm I'm looking at those two guys, those two bands, and I'm like, if these guys can't make it, then you know, I, I just I expect to be hearing their music or uh, on the radio or seeing them filling stadiums, yeah, or not necessarily stadiums, but big venues. I mean, they're already doing whiskey a go go. I'm bigger venues than that even yeah. in a short time, unless. Yeah, you know, if they if they keep working it like they are, if they can keep the band together. Yeah, you know, I could see those are probably two of the most successful groups that we've seen. Yeah, I tell you, and, and and it's 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 really refreshing to see young guys like that, man. Because yeah. you know, um, they've already. I mean, you, did you hear you know hear them talk? They've already have experience you know behind them, uh, having done other kind of other projects and things like that. But it's like they they all kind of they've come together. And this is what's, what we need to do, and this is how we need to, you know, plan it out. And and all their, I mean, when you just ask them a question about about the business aspect of it, their answer is obviously well thought out. They've already dis discussed these things. You know, he's talking about next step is a business plan. I yeah. Mean, how many bands That's have you ever heard? Time. I've never heard a band talk about a business plan. All the questions we've asked, <laughs> all the interviews we've had with all of those people, it's the first time we've ever had a band uh -huh. say business plan. Yeah. Yeah. And That's... and you know. Even and even understand what it is about. You know? I mean, these, these guys knew what they were doing. It's pretty cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. My only concern with them is uh, all those energy drinks they drank. Man. <laughs> Somebody's heart's gonna burst. <laughs> I mean, these guys who they were. Do you know they're burning about this? Because uh, uh, so. you know, before you came on, I, that's I, just I, not good for you. Though. Before we went on the air, I was talking. I mean, you know, they're, 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 a bunch of them are going to school full time. Oh, like, yeah. They got both. A lot of them got multiple jobs and stuff like that. Then you got the recording, the writing, the tour, you know, the, the plan and, and performances and stuff. So, yeah, they're uh, they're, they're they're living off those energy drinks. <laughs> I, I'm convinced I, that those are just bad for you. There's oh, like yeah. nothing. I mean, coffee he is has some redeeming qualities, and but if you overdo it, that's bad for you. I have, and these guys are just basically just basically taking caffeine yeah. straight, and caffeine's a poison. It'll kill you. Yeah, it will kill you. You get enough caffeine in your system, it will fucking <laughs> shut it all down. It will. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, it's funny I say this. I, I have never, ever, ever had a, a, an energy drink. Never bought one. Never had one. The only exception is, is uh, a couple times I was places and people bought uh, shots. Hmm. Oh, Jaeger shots, which I hate Jaeger to start with. But then they like float. They floated. They floated a uh, like Red, Red Bull, Bull on top of it or something. I'm like, what the hell is that? I go, oh, that's Red Bull and Jaeger. I'm like, well, I knew the Jaeger part, but I knew it tasted even yeah. worse than I uh, expected. Yeah, I've, I've I've tasted some. Uh, I tasted Red Bull one time. Yeah. I, I literally took a sip of. Uh, you were there, like one of our events that we had to do up north part of town. They uh, gave they're handing them out free or something like that, and uh, I was like. It was horrible, <laughs> and I don't know. Like, they had the bad, just bad taste and shit. Yeah, yeah. But no. other than that, they, they're, they're going to need to get some sort of intervention on the, <laughs> the energy drinks. Other than that, I, I, you know, these guys 
you know, best of luck. Hope they make it. Yeah. And uh, they certainly seem to have all the right tools and the right mindsets. And uh, it's good to see. Yeah, very good. Plus, you know, hopefully one day this will turn into us getting like some front backstage passes something, or something. Something something down there, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've, you've gone to actually a lot of free shows. I've done a lot of shows. I, I have done uh, a lot of shows. Which is nice, but, you know, a free show from from like, you know, a big name would be... Real nice, real nice, huh? Exactly. Um, I'll give a props out to Jen Liu for joining us, too, man. Jen Liu from the Jake Pentland Show over at uh, Unscripted Radio and the Blog Talk Radio Network. But uh, uh, Jen joined us for the last hour, and she's always a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, she's... Uh, that's the first time we've actually talked to her, though, right? Yeah, you know, I, on, I, our, on show. our show. First time we ever talked to her on our show. Yeah, I, I've talked to her actually. Uh, yeah, she'd been in the chat she's room. She's been in the chat room a few times. And yeah, and I talked to her on uh, on Night Views mm -hmm. uh, once before. And uh, but uh, that's the first time she joined us and talked to us on our show, and, and it was a lot of fun. Man, she jumped right in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wasn't shy, that's for sure. Cause we could be intimidating. Uh, the, you know, the three of us were here last night, and uh, we we could be intimidating at times. It's she after maybe we've had a couple. <laughs> <laughs> and then props out to listener Vingy Adam McKiller. They uh, they provided us with the the beer for our beer segment last that's night. Right. So old raspy. No, was that a damn? Yeah, that fine was beer? a damn fine beer, man. It was I, a like very I fine gesture. Yeah, so was, uh, in case they're listening, thank you yeah, again. Yeah. It was like slicing. Pound cake or yeah, butter or something. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. nice and heavy and, and uh, I don't know, it had all the all the tastes tastes that I like within it. Yeah, uh, good dark beer. So it was that was a good time. Yeah. Definitely was. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I am moving a little bit slower this morning. Though. A, little, <laughs> a little fuzzy headed. <laughs> but I, I I did see something today. I, I, you know. Because <laughs> I know your sense of humor like mine, I appreciate this. <laughs> I'm uh, watching the news. You know how they scroll thing at the bottom of the news, like uh -huh. other stories that they're not going to talk about, type of thing. It says that um, Harvard was uh, sending out a kind of an apology type thing. Apparently, for their uh, for the 50 year every year they do a, a like a catalog type thing, right? And people from that class, you know, they fill out their stuff. So for the 50 year. Uh, graduating class right. um, Ted Kaczynski the Unabomber and he put it there occupation prisoner awards eight life sentences <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> so they're apologizing for letting that get through and so like that <laughs> I think that's uh, perfect. I thought it was perfect. I mean, you know, the guys, you know, we murdered people. I, I get that and stuff yeah. like that. But uh, obviously, though, he's got a sense of humor. He's got a sense of humor. <laughs> and given where he is, he needs one. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's probably living better than that hut they found him in. <laughs> yeah, but he's probably not enjoying it as much. No, that's true. <laughs> but I was looking there saying, I could you imagine it? He goes, okay, bell call. He gets this thing. Oh, a fifty-year count. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and he's, you know, he felt like they're never going to put this in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's a, and, and, you know, uh, I don't know who the editor was. I, 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 you know what happened. The guy goes, hey, Kaczynski sent this back in. He's, he was a classmate. He's probably our most notable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's it, legit. It's legit. <laughs> he paid the fee. Paid whatever. The fee. <laughs> Because usually with something like that, it comes with a fee, right? You got to pay 50 bucks or something like that. Uh, yeah, I, just, I don't know. Talk Story Radio. It's affiliates or sponsors. 